Hi everybody, very welcome to Mentor and yet another video podcast. As always, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Today on the video, guys, we're going to be talking about the difference in sound between the Boeing 737 and the Airbus 320. What is that howling, whining sound that you can hear from the Airbus 320 as it's flying above you on approach? And also, that barking sound that you sometimes can hear as you're taxiing out or taxiing in on the Airbus 320. Stay tuned. Three one zero one six three one right, right on. Third line three one right. Delta two six. This video is brought to you in cooperation with NordVPN. And as you can see, I spend a lot of time traveling, which means that I'm using a lot of public Wi-Fi. And this is the reason why I let NordVPN um, sponsor some of my videos. Because I know how important it is for me and for you to protect your data, your identity, your location on the internet today, right? The way that NordVPN works is that they have several servers scattered all over the globe. And when you're using internet, basically what anyone who intercepts your data will see is not where you are, but where uh, the NordVPN closes server on. The fact that they're using a lot of servers means that it's minimum lag. The speed of the internet through the VPN service is very, very quick. And they also use powerful encryption to make sure that when you, for example, are shopping on the internet using your credit card numbers, that even if the data is intercepted, will not be able to be read by someone who is stealing the data from you. So if you're using this link here below, which is nordvpn.org slash pilot and the coupon code pilot, well then you'll get one month for free so you can try out the service, see if it's something for you. And you'll also get a 70% discount, which brings the price down to only $3.49 per month. So I suggest that you read up a little bit on the internet about what uh, the VPN services actually does. And if it's something for you, then use the link here and save yourself some money. Start protecting yourself today and uh, yeah, check it out. Right guys, so I have decided to do this video because I'm getting so many questions about different noises. Okay, and I fully understand that if you're a nervous flyer and you're sitting there kind of, you know, listening to every single little sound and you hear something that's very, very weird from the previous aircraft that you flew on, you would want some kind of explanation to it. So that's what we're going to try to do today. I'm going to give you three different sounds that we're going to be talking about where there are some significant differences between these two aircraft types. So make sure that you stay tuned to the end because I think that at least one of these is going to surprise you, all right? So the first thing that we are going to talk about is the barking sound that you sometimes can hear on the Airbus 320, specifically when you are pushing back or when you're taxiing in about to park at the gate. Now I'm going to give you a very quick overview of this, but if you want a fantastic technical explanation of this, well then I highly recommend you to check out Captain Joe's video about this specific subject. But in order to understand it, um, we're just going to talk a little bit about the hydraulic systems, okay? What you need to understand is that on an aircraft, uh, we always have redundant systems. This means that if a system is critical, there's always a, another system that can jump in and take over the jobs of the other system if that would fail. That is particularly important when it comes to the hydraulic systems. And the reason for that is because the hydraulic systems do things like control our flight controls, make sure that we can do nose wheel steering when we're taxiing on the ground, make sure that we can retract and extend the landing gear and the flaps and the leading edge devices. So these are some really, really critical things that the aircraft need to have in order to fly safely. So this means that if there is a problem with one of these systems, well then the other system have to either take over the jobs or help restore that previous system. And it's when we're talking about restoring the system that the PTU, the power transfer unit, comes into play. On the Airbus 320, you basically have three hydraulic systems. You have the green, the yellow and the blue. Okay? But what we're going to be talking about is the green and the yellow, which is connected to the green is on the left hand side, the number one engine, and the yellow is on the number two engine. These have very similar jobs. Okay? So they operate generally when both engines are running at about 3000 psi. If 
one of the systems would drop down with about 500 psi. So let's say it goes down to 2500 psi. Well then the PTU will jump in and it is basically a hydraulic pump that is connected in between both systems and uses the system pressure from the still operating system to start to help the system where the pressure is dropping. Okay, So the fluids never mix with each other, they, it's just used in order to increase the pressure. With me so far? Great. This of course happens, for example, when the engines are being started. So as you're pushing back and you start one engine, you're going to have a pressure building up on one side, but not the other. And in this case, I'm not type rated on the 320, but the way I've understood it is that it does a self-test. And when it does that, that's when you will hear the pump starting and stopping, starting and stopping a few times. And it sounds exactly like a dog barking. And the way that it's situated, it's in the main wheel well bay, uh, it's the same on the 737, most of the hydraulic components are down there, it means that if you're sitting over the wings, it just sounds like you have an angry dog barking just below you. Okay? The same thing will happen on taxi in if the aircraft shuts down one engine and then at the gate shuts down the hydraulic pump to that engine as well. Then for a moment you will have the same thing happening where the PTU jumps in to try to restore pressure to the system where the pressure has dropped. Now, what about the Boeing 737 then? Does that have a PTU? In fact, we do have a PTU on the 737, but the system design of the hydraulics is different. So on the 737, uh, system A and system B, which we use, um, they have different main jobs, basically. And they also have shared main jobs, which means that when it comes to the flight controls, we can actually easily kind of control the aircraft even if we lose one hydraulic system completely. So there's no need for just flight controls to have a PTU. However, we might need a PTU when we have something that requires a lot of hydraulic fluid. And an example of that is the driving of the outer slats and the leading edge devices. So if we would take off and the hydraulic system B, which is the one that is used to drive the outer slats and the leading edge devices would uh, suddenly drop in pressure. Well then our PTU would jump in and it would use hydraulic system A pressure to provide extra volume of and pressure to hydraulic system B to drive these systems. Okay? So this means that on the 737 you will never hear that barking sound because it's not the same design. It will only jump in while we're airborne and when the flaps are between zero and, well, when the flaps are not up, I should say, and the system B drops below a limit value. So that's why you will never hear it on the 77, but you will hear it on the Airbus 320. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is the engine noise. Now, this is something that I've gotten a lot of questions about, and that, why does the Airbus 320 have that high-pitched whining sound during takeoff? And the Boeing 737 has a much kind of deeper growling sound when the engines are essentially the same. And this is a fascinating thing actually because it is true. The Airbus 320 and the Boeing 737 have essentially in most cases, the same engine. There are some Airbuses that uses the Rolls Royce engine as well, but in most cases, they use the CFM 56 engine. So Boeing 737 has the, has the CFM 56-7 engine, and the Airbus 320 family has the CFM 56-5, either Alpha or Bravo engine, All right? Even though these are the same engines, there are some fundamental differences. The Airbus 320 uh, has a very nice and long high landing gear. So this means that the CFM, when they were creating the CFM 56-5 Bravo engine, they could make the engine as big as they wanted, right? They had no problems with ground clearance. So the CFM 56-5 Bravo is made the way the CFM wanted to make the engine. But on the 737 they had a problem, and this is something that we've talked about many, many times on this channel. And that is the fact that the 737 have a very low landing gear. So when they created this new CFM 56-7 engine for the next generation uh, NG, 
they first of all had a problem with the ground clearance this is why you will see the um, um, the engine being flat at the bottom i did a special video about that you can check it out if you haven't seen it already um, but also it meant that the fan diameter could not be the same on the uh, on the airbus 320 the fan diameter is about 68.3 inches and on the uh, 737 it's about 61 inches so it's less fan diameter and of course you need to have the same efficiency on the engines the same kind of fuel burn things like that and because you don't have as much fan diameter on the 737 that fan actually needs to spin about 10 percent quicker than on the airbus 320. the the other thing that the 737 is different is that they have fewer fan blades so on the on the CFM 567, um, there's less fan blades and the fan blades are wider. Now all of this creates together the same efficiency between the two engines, but the sound will be different because when we set maximum takeoff thrust, and it's only really then that you will hear this massive difference in sound, the tips of the um, of the fan blades will spin at supersonic speeds. All right, and since there are more fan blades on the Airbus than on the 737 that will spin at supersonic speeds, there are more of that whining sound. Even though the speed on the fan blades are actually higher on the 737, since they're wider and shorter, the difference in sound is there. So this is essentially what you're hearing. When we set maximum takeoff thrust, when the speed of the fan blade gets the highest possible, well then you will also hear the difference in pitch in the sound. You won't hear that as much when we kind of reduce the thrust back to normal climb thrust and when we're up at cruise because the speed of the fan blades are not as high and the, the, the biggest amount of noise that you get from the engines is actually the exhaust gases. That's what causes most of the noise. But when you can hear the tips, that's also when you can hear the difference. Okay? Right, so number three, and this is truly fascinating. Um, when we're operating the 737 and the Airbus 320, um, we're sucking fuel out of the tanks, all right? Easy enough. When we're doing so, we are creating a pressure difference inside of the fuel tanks. And we also get that as we're climbing and as we're descending. And we don't really want uh, a significant difference in, in um, pressure, as in air pressure inside of the tanks, because, you know, th that might cause either cavitation on the pumps, as in the pumps can't suck in the, the fuel, or um, an overpressure, which we don't want either. And in order to solve that, we have overpressure protection uh, systems that basically are holes to equalize the pressure inside of the tanks, simply explaining. The way that these holes look, if you look at the Boeing 737, it kind of looks like a little triangular shaped inlet form, very similar to what you'll see on, for example, the Ram Air inlet or the uh, exhausts. Uh, sorry, or the uh, APU inlets, and then you will have a little rectangular hole. But on the Airbus 320, you have round holes, four of them in the wings. All right. Now, <laughs> this is where it becomes interesting because I'm sure that you've heard when as an Airbus 320 flies over you on approach, as they're turning on to final, for example, that you can hear this high-pitched whining sound coming from. It's very, very particular and it comes only on the Airbus 320 family. And it has to do with these fuel vents. On the Airbus 320, it's called the Fuel Overpressure Protection Cavity, or FOP. Um, since they're round, basically they are like the top of a bottle, right? If you imagine the top of a bottle, and you know if you take a bottle and you put your mouth to it and you blow on it at a specific angle, at some point you'll get that high pitch sound coming out of the bottle. 
Well, this is what you're getting from the uh, from these FOP valves on the Airbus 320 as well. As the aircraft comes in at around 160 to 170 knots on approach, the angle becomes perfect for the air to attack those holes. And those holes basically become like four of these bottlenecks that is producing that high pitched sound. And the sound is between 500 and 600 hertz, which is exactly where the human ear has, is the most responsive, the most sensitive. So this is why you can hear it so clearly. It's exactly the kind of noise that the human ear is programmed to hear. Okay, and it happens at exactly these speeds, which is when pretty much we turn final to start to reduce the, uh, the speed down to taking the gear down of flaps 15 and, and so on. All right. Now, there are airlines out there who have noticed this and there is a fix for it. So, for example, Lufthansa was among the first ones to put a little uh, vortex generator just in front of the hole. And by doing so, the angle would never be correct and the hole would never appear. So this is why you don't hear it as often anymore. Now, this fix costs about $5,000 per aircraft and it doesn't really save any money. It's just the environmental kind of noise impact on the um, uh, area around the airport. So some airlines have decided to opt for this retrofit and some airlines have not. Okay, so you are still able to hear this pitch. So the next time that you hear that high whining pitch and you look up, you know which aircraft it is that's flying above you. Okay, now if you have more questions about this, Maybe you're a nervous flyer and you want other things explained, like why does it sound like that? Why does it look like that? Please send me a message, all right? You can either put in your comments here in the uh, description of the video, but if you really want to reach me, then go into the free Mentor Aviation app, all right? I have the links in the description here below and just go into submit feedback and send me a message there. That sends me an email directly. Okay. If you want to talk to me directly, just tag at mentor in the chat or any of the forums. And you can even you know, put up a suggestion for a new forum, maybe strange aircraft noises or something like that. And then we can have a specific discussion about what it is that you want to talk about. But you should definitely get the app, right? If you want aviation news, we push them out all of the time when something happens. And it's just a really, really great group of people. People who are nervous, people who love aviation, professional pilots like myself, and everyone is welcome. All right, so go and download the app now and just tag me, let me know that you're there. I hope that you've also subscribed to the channel. Now, you know, if you like videos like this or any type of videos about aviation, subscribe and remember to highlight the little notification bell. Because if you don't, then if I'm doing a spontaneous live stream from inside one of the simulators or in the cockpit when we have a, a long slot or something, you will miss that. So make sure you've both subscribed and highlighted the button. Have an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Right guys, I really hope that you liked that. If you want more content like that, more aviation content, well then, check this out. Uh, I hope that you have subscribed to the channel and that you've highlighted the little notification bell. See you inside of the Mentor Aviation app and have an absolutely fantastic day. Bye-bye.